remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? We have yet another bizarre incident involving NFL free agent Antonio Brown. This time, it's his baby mother at his Florida house. Backstory. The police get a call. It's unsure who made the call, but they show up at his house and they encounter an angry Antonio Brown. He's angry because he says that his children's mother, Chelsea, was supposed to pick the kids up and take them to school on Monday. But she showed up, hopped into his Bentley and tried to ride off. He wasn't having it. So they get into an altercation. This man called the mother of his children everything but a child of God. Excuse my French and pardon my vernacular, but I got to say it to make the point. He said, bitch, you don't drive Bentleys. He told the police, arrest that fish looking bitch. He said this in front of his children. Now, it's reported that he has three children with Chelsea and she has two other children by someone else. Man, I got to explain something to you. It don't matter what the woman is doing. I understand some women can be very, very vicious. I got it. I've seen it. I understand some of them can be very, very scandalous. But despite how you feel about her, if you love your children like you say you do, you have to check your emotions when you're dealing with their mother. You can never, ever, ever let them hear you disrespect their mother. It doesn't matter what kind of woman she is. She could be out on the street selling her body. Like Pac said, even though you was a crack fiend mama. You always was a black queen mama. That's how children feel about their mother. And I know some mothers don't deserve it. But that's between the kids and their mother. All children have a special bond with their mother. Even if their mother didn't do right by them. Antonio Brown has a daughter who loves him dearly. Oftentimes, girls will pick guys who have similarities to their fathers. So, when some little old knucklehead starts cursing her out and calling her bitches, she'll confuse that with love. Because after all, she loved her father, and her father used those same words toward her mother. And, you know, they made her. So she hear a boy saying that, and then next thing you know, you know, it's, I'm sorry, and, you know, we kiss and make up, and then cussing her out again and talking bad to her, disrespecting. You know, it becomes a way of living. She's likely to pick a guy just like her father. And then Antonio is going to want to kill that dude. Antonio Brown has been trying to get back into the NFL. He blew a big bag. I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 40, 50 million bucks. And he blew it just with his attitude. Like, how do you blow a bag by having a bad attitude? He just blew the bag. And then... In this conversation where he was insulting his children's mother in front of them, he said, fuck the NFL. This is real life. Man, that is a prime episode. That's a prime, he's a prime candidate for when keeping it real goes wrong. 
I personally think Antonio Brown got to be on some type of drugs because he too old for that shit. 31 years old, man. Ain't no excuses. If he was 20, early 20s, mid 20s, even close to late 20s, maybe. But by the time a man gets in his 30s, it's time to grow up and put those childish ways behind you. Like he has an opportunity to do something real special and his talent is going to waste. I do believe he's the best a wide receiver in football. But that's about to go to waste. I doubt if he plays football again. The dude is on a path to destruction. He got to get it right real fast. He got to get it right real fast. I'm not saying that the mother of his children was right by trying to go in there and get that Ben, that Bentley. You know, I'm not saying that. I'm saying it ain't what you do, it's how you do it. I'm going to say it again, fellas. We got to gain control of our emotions. We got to be beyond the petty stuff, beyond sounding like messy girls. I won't even say women because them little girls be having those attitudes like that. Real women don't even go there. A real woman knows to allow a man to see his children because no matter how she feels about them, she that guy, she knows that if she don't allow her children to have a relationship with their father, they are going to have daddy issues. She knows that. And she's not willing to make that sacrifice. A real woman will not make that sacrifice. Men, don't make that sacrifice. Don't be that emotional where you are disrespecting the mother of your children. Look, he didn't have one child by that woman. He didn't have two ch children. He had three. So that means that there was a whole lot of loving going on in between that sex. They had a lot of days. They've been together for some years. That was a whole lot of pleasure in that relationship. One might say, well, maybe he never loved that at all to be treating her like that. I don't know. But something obviously came good out of it. He had three great children. She helped him make them. He didn't do it by himself. So we got to learn to take the good with the bad, the bitter with the sweet. As I said at the top, the whole incident was bizarre. I've seen a number of men lose control and say some really despicable things about the mother of their children. But I've never seen a man pull out a bag of gummies shaped like miniature dicks and throw them in the direction of his children's mother while yelling, bag of dicks. All I could think of as he was doing it is who was eating those dicks. No more talk. What the talking about?